victims of the Boston Marathon bombing security is high for our Flying Pig Marathon, which will take place in less than a month. Yep, uh, Local 12's Perry Shibley joins us now with more on how fans and spectators are making a huge impact on the marathon here. Good morning, Perry. Well, good morning to you, John. Between the full and the half marathons, the race covers 30 miles through eight municipalities, all of which have units available to help with security. Now it's a big effort headed by the Cincinnati Police Department. The Department of Homeland Security and FBI will also be involved. All of this, of course, a result of the Boston Marathon bombings last year. Now, no backpacks or bags of any kind are allowed at the race. Race director Irish Bush Simpson says that these extra measures are simply precautionary. Racers came out last year anyway in full support, and this year registration is already up. We were so gratified last year. The spectators, we affectionately refer to them as our squealers, but they were out en masse. As we all know, they took the biggest hit in Boston, and it was as though in greater Cincinnati, people were saying, we're going to support this. We're not going to be deterred by some horrendous act such as happened that year. So runners may see an increased security presence, but again, they shouldn't be concerned. It's not because of em any imminent threat, just precautionary. Organizers are asking that spectators spread out throughout the race course. They want everybody to have someone cheering from them, and they ask that you do follow all of their requests, especially the no bags, no backpacks rule. John, back to you. All right, Perry, thank you. And if you want to be one of the squealers, the uh, Flying Pig Marathon starts on Marion Way at Paul Brown Stadium, and the runners will finish near the Taylor Southgate Bridge.